All right, one more Marshall head. I featured, this is the third Marshall head I featured recently. This is my own personal uh, 1974, it's a JMP, 50 watt Marshall. So, it's got the same uh, business back here. Um, it's a 16 ohm output. Made in England, for real. It says Mark II on it. Oh, God. So this is 1974. This is 1974. So these match really, really well. So I'll plug it in. Let's see. Shall we use the attenuator? I think we should. Let's use, let's use this... Uh, I suspect that this uh, THD, what do you call this thing, THD hot plate is probably the better attenuator, so let's use that one. Very complicated. All right, here it comes. Let's turn it on. This one, this amp should sound pretty good. So I got the, the channels jumpered with this little quarter inch cable. It connects channel 2 to channel 1. I usually just go like that. I suppose you could do it like this, or like that, or like that. But I don't really care. I just don't care. All right. So we're going to plug in. I usually go in there. And to play a, a Marshall, you kind of need a Les Paul. So I was told in a music store one time when I was playing some, I don't know, I asked, uh, I asked the clerk if I could play a brand new Les Paul into a giant Marshall stack and I started playing country licks. It really torqued him. He got real upset. <laughs> Ooh, not nice. So, got the attenuator on. Let's see if what's going Ah! the volumes down to like zero. Here's the treble channel. Listen to this. Hear that treble? That sounds a lot different than that other one, which did go back to the tech. The 76. So this is a 74. So that's mostly the treble channels cranked up to about 12 o'clock. Gobs of treble. I got it down negative 16 decibels, and then this thing here, that pot, you can rotate it down to real quiet. Oh, that's the sound of a Marshall. So yeah, when you commented and said that other head sounded horrible, you were right. So the EQ is all at 12 o'clock. Let's bring in, let's bring in the bass channel. Listen to this. A lot more flabby. A lot more bottom end. Somebody said crank up the mid range. Okay. Mid range out. Mid range in. I don't hear a giant difference. Let's now the the fun thing is blending channel one with channel two. I usually put them about at two. Let's see what that sounds like. That's my sound. This is, I wrote pencil three and pencil four here, so let's try three and four. That's my go-to.
the attenuator off, this would be, we, I couldn't stand it. I really can't handle that loud stuff, man. So I love this sound. I love that it's not horribly loud. So I'm going to keep this amp in here for a while. This is a 50 watt head made in England. I've had it since I was, uh, I've had a long time. I was super poor when I got it. I was donating plasma and I was getting food stamps. I was trying to get a job and I had like two guitar students. I just moved to Iowa. I saw that in a guitar store and I'm like, hey man, I'm going to put that on layaway. It took me a long time to pay it off. It was only 500 bucks. Now it's worth maybe two grand, three grand. I don't know. I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it. I love it. So I'm glad to have it out of the basement and up here where we can, uh, I can look at it. It's got this gold piping. I love that gold piping. Small logo. I like how the J is kind of hidden back under there. It's kind of like a, a gold faceplate. It's been modified and brought back to stock. And I just love it. I love an old Marshall that works right. Uh, maybe I'll try some newer Marshalls here coming up. But for now, I'm going to keep this right here. So thanks. If you can subscribe to my channel, that is awesome. Thank you. See ya.